Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Global Indices. We'll be looking for long trades on the intraday uh, basis today, um, but we'll have a look at the bigger picture on the weekly chart here. This is the S&P, of course, on the weekly chart, and we'll have a look at the daily and intraday and so on. So um, in the bigger picture here, we're looking at wave one and two and one and two, and this will be in line with stocks. And then this particular trend up here, as I've been mentioning, can be counted in two different ways. Um, it's no sort of set answer. It will just be sort of depend on the stickiness of such a large number here, or will it just continue to move through that space? That's what AI stocks are pretty much suggesting. So um, we need to be prepared for uh, both of those. Um, so, yeah, this is our primary sort of count and uh, we're going to investigate this particular trend here because from here up to here it could be counted in uh, in different ways. So this is uh, basically a, a daily chart here of what we just sort of looked at. So we had on the weekly, we had wave one and two here and one and two here. And we're also looking at this being one and two. So in this instance here, we would still be moving further up um the price scale uh here so like i said my fear all week has been i can see that uh the market needs to push higher um but uh you know what sort of pull would be on on this 5000 because it's quite normal to have you know reasonable corrections at large numbers so this is one way to count this particular move up the other way to count this up is slightly different so still wave two here but putting wave three up here now in this instance we can't because when we had a look at it just before we had wave one up here and wave two here looking at those as being five waves up here of one two three four five up here for one and two and this count here would be one and two and then a smaller five waves for one and two and three and four and five here the extension's really in the fifth wave here so not that sort of you know fond of that i prefer that that this to be the third wave to be the strongest which would be uh, in this move here so um, in this instance here we could look at this as wave three and four and I don't particularly like it as a wave four because it's a little bit small but then again wave two here was quite simple and small as well so we can count five waves up to this point here so it's possible to have a top in here and have a correction here as I mentioned and that would simply be an A and a B and a C wave down here and then we could move up again from that point so that's on the cards but it, as you know we need to put in our take our analyst hat off and put our trading hat on as well and look for long trades because that's in line with the trend as well so we'll be uh, doing that so this is one way to look at this I could even look at this here as five waves up here as wave one two three four five and drag this up here so it won't be disappearing anywhere any any um anytime soon okay so there's different ways that we can uh uh play play this out here we need to be mindful of all the possible uh counts and stay with the the highest probability of you know two or three counts and and manage our positions in that way so moving in a little further here from the daily into the intraday of twenty thousand tick which is pretty much the same so in this case here we've well this is the alternative wave one here that we just looked at and this is the original count of one two three four five up here for one and two and then one two three four five here so this is very bullish here with wave one and two here and then looking at this is one two three four five up here so this here would also to update this looking at wave two uh in here now wave two could also pull back a little bit in here we'll need to look at that so it's quite possible that this could come down here at the same time with what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking going long above this uh top here as well um but uh, it's quite possible for this to uh move down here as an abc pattern here and still leave that exposed at the top there. So that's really what we're sort of looking at at this point. So now we're going to sort of move into this area here a little bit more. And I think a thousand ticks going from 20 to a thousand ticks here would be good. And let's just clean all of this up from yesterday. And so we can look at <laughs> we looked at this here first of all we looked about going long above the top okay now we can bring that down to this this high here 
And secondly, we can also look at this as a B wave up here and then a C wave down here for wave two. Now, if it's going to come down here as wave two, then it could also be that wave four that we looked at as well. So this would come down as, as one, two, three, four, five here uh, and then move up. So we could view to go long again bring this down to the next top over here. So we'll look at that in due course. Um, there is a good chance that uh, that we can go, I'm going to change that now and put this on uh, here, on this top here with a little price tag on there, roughly speaking. And we can take a look at this in more detail. So there's a, there's a reasonable case at first glance of looking at this as one, two here, and then one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, fourth wave, and fifth wave. On the NASDAQ, we can count, we can count this down as being um, an ABC pattern. And the interesting thing here is we can also count this up here as being five waves as well. So I thought we'd just go in here quickly and have a look at this little structure here. So because we do want to trade in line with the trend. So if I... Um, if I go from 1,000 ticks down to, let's say, 20 should do the trick. And we might need to bring in some more data here. Okay, so that should be okay. We'll just give me some more there. So let's just count this together, shall we? So we don't have to count very much. It's a little bit like... Um, so we've got uh, wave one here and wave two... Uh, here and then if you've got a keen eye we've got one two three four five here so it does make a nice third wave here in terms of the length of it and the power of it and then we can look at this as five waves here I won't bore you to death and go into the count here and then if you've got five waves up there then you'd be looking for a uh, retracement level back normally into the demand area you know so that kind of works out to be in terms of you know price and uh, volume and those sorts of things but uh, we like to use the 50 60 percent I'll just bring it down to the little pocket there at that point and then I can also what I like to do is always gravitate to the closest largest number and I just want to give that a little bit of gravity as well here so in this case we can just go to this one that's okay and if you know the trading levels then you'll know that this is minor level one and then if we were looking for subgroup one we'd be looking for uh, 10 20 and 30 here <coughs> so can we uh, and then below this here as well for um, for the trading levels would be 65 in here so 65 and 72 in in here for that so we can just put that in there near enough is good enough for the time being. So they're the levels that we're working with at the moment. So what we understand at this point is that um, we want to go long above these tops here. Any breach of that there would be, would be fine because if we take this top here, if we take this top here and drop it down to the low here, we can see that we're already at the little pocket here, the 61.8% mark, well, 62% and 65. So <clears throat> any really, you know, another test of those highs there, that would be based on that five wave structure there. We, we could look at that as being going long at that point. Could we also look at this here as being corrective? Well, the best correct the pattern for this would simply be the looking at an ABC for the A wave here and then a B wave here and then a C wave here. So that would be the flip side because if you're going to go long, you want to know what the short count is at that point, you know, and um, as I mentioned, there's a pretty good case for looking at uh, five waves down here in this case as one and two here and then one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave coming into play. So there's a good case that we can come down uh, here further. And if that was the case, then we would pretty much look for five waves down as one and uh, two here and three, four, five coming down here a little bit further. So look, all in all, um, on the NASDAQ, this counts quite nicely as an ABC pattern down here. But uh, on the NASDAQ, we don't have a nice five waves up here. So we've got a bit of a mixed message from both of them. Um, if we looked at the SPY, the SPY while we're here, 
then we can also look at this. We talked about this just as an ABC pattern here. And also now we've developed a nice one, two, three, four, five here. So if you're trading this particular market, the safe trade would be uh, above that previous high there and looking at that there. So what would occur here now, if this was going to push up through here, then we'll look at this as wave one here and two here. Wave three would be longer than um, wave one here and then we'd have wave four and then wave five and then we would have another ABC pattern here and then pushing up again. So just understand that would be the same with most markets. So <clears throat> we want the market to prove to us that it's strong and to do that it needs to buy new highs and there is a case here as a one, two, three, four, five. So really putting on our trading uh, hat here for uh, for this market. So uh, could you get a better space in here? Let's just assume for a moment that this was moving up here as a little wave one here with an ABC pattern here. This would be one, two here. And then this would also be here wave three. We normally find wave three comes in around the tops over here for these things. So then there'll be a wave four and a wave five. So if you're going to go along here, just understand that it's going to get a little bit um, choppy around the top here. So you'll need to stay on that bull for the nine seconds. And uh, yeah, and uh, hold that out if you can count the five waves up here and even if we you know get five waves up here then you can refine this move here as well so you can drop that on top of the b wave here and then if you also were pretty keen you know that this is minor level one here then you've got one two three that make up subgroup one so a classic trading level pattern on top of that level there would also give you the the um the the correct setup to go along at as well so that's what that looks like at that point. So if we come over to the NASDAQ in the bigger picture here, we've got on the, this is just two days here, nothing special about two days, just a clean sort of canvas, but this is basically one degree higher than uh, the S&P, slightly different because the S&P pulled back quite deeply uh, in this move here because of the banking situation. And, you know, as I've mentioned with the banks before, there's, um, you know, they're all they're, all the banks are powering to the upside. So if we look at um, Morgan's here, we've got the same count. It look it's same same but different, same same, you know, as they say. But uh, one and two and one and two here because we've got overlapping wave structures here. It's the only way to count it. And then we're going into this third of the third over here, and this is going to continue to move up, you know, from one hundred trading level one to trading level two here that's where that will be here at that point but this has still got further to go as well so it's very you know it's just not the tech sector that's um that's enjoying this ride you know banks around the world will also be doing the same thing i notice the same things going on in australia uh, as well so this is the count here that we're looking at here as one and two and one and two and one and two and so we're pushing up to the 20k here which is also major trading level two um, i'm just going to go to the 20,000 here which is <clears throat> the intraday sort of place here for this <clears throat> so we're just putting on our trading hat. We understand that as a, uh, this is also a classic trading levels pattern here, the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, some type of correction here. So it's really just this pattern here. We're waiting for the first high. We did that. And then we can go long above the first high and then we drop it down to the second high. And that's where we are now. And we're saying, well, if that gets triggered, we can go long. If it doesn't get long, it doesn't go long and we drop down, then we'll drop down, then we'll come back up and then we'll have this high. Um, but you won't know that high is there until it drops down here, of course, but it doesn't matter because you'd be going long over here for that. So it's a very simple, effective pattern. And if it doesn't get triggered, it means you don't get in and it saves your ass, you know. Um, so we got the first high above the level and yesterday we would have talked about, um, you know, being long above that. And now we've got the second high here. Now, I don't know if that's going to get triggered or not. <clears throat> There's a good case because on the S&P we can count five waves up here, but on this one here, the five waves don't count very well here as one, two, Two, three, four, five. We've got overlap there, so you could go an A and a B and a C. Um, but the good thing about this one is it's got a better ABC pattern in here. So anyway, long story short, 
the market can pull down here in terms of an A and a B and a C wave here. And then we'll have to pick it up here on the Monday and then, you know, rinse and repeat and start again at that point. But if it takes this top out here, which is also at the 61.8%, then we need to be long at that point. So just looking at this move down here, just shooting the breeze really is this little move here. So this is wave one here with an A wave, a B wave, one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five for the third, fourth, five. I don't have a great impulse wave up here. I can count five in here. I can count five in here. I can count five in here and a correction and count five in here. So we can go long above here, but will it go long? And I wouldn't go jumping the gun either because as I mentioned, this can just have a little, this could be down here for the wave one and A and a B and a C here and then have wave three, four and five come down and then move up from that point. And then we have to wait for this high to come into place or we could actually come in here on the first wave, but um, that's where we are. So we're taking the next logical step uh, in terms of uh, being long in this market. And this pretty much applies to the um, w, the IWM here, the ETF here as well. So we can draw a line across the top here now for this and leave it as simple as that to go long on. Will it you know, I'm not saying that it will because I understand that we could still move down here before moving up again, you know, so, um, but we don't want to miss, you know, we've got to get on the bus basically. And that's what we'll do if, uh, if the bus stops, so to speak. And, um, over to the European markets. It's the same here as well. I don't really need to go into the bigger picture, but we've got wave one here and two here in orange, which is minor degree. And then minute is one and two and three and four here and going up four wave five. So we're going to be going higher and uh, the 18, um, eight um, is the third strongest number, one, eight, one, five, eight, and then three. So in this case here, we've been looking for wave one and two, bit busy in here, sorry about that, wave three and four here, and then wave five here, then we'll have wave four here, and then we'll have this move here. So I've got a little bit to go in all of this here. So we can put that over to here, and then we don't need that wave three. I don't know where that came from, but uh, we can put that as wave four and, uh, and so on up there further. That don't need that either. That's not to be there. Um, so look, we've got a lot, lot of positions in here. We're just keeping the stop out of the way. No, no biggie. We need to go higher. It's the same. It's the same thing here as well. Okay. So in terms of the correction, because the 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 um, um, I think I don't know what happened to the. Um, I don't know what happened to the ECB. They were Lagarde was having a bit of a powwow today. I think um, I haven't checked all the news, but. Um, so anyway, we're looking at this as a wave A here and then an A wave, a B wave and a C wave up here for the B wave. And then we're looking for this to move down here into wave C. Now, <coughs> this could, if this was, if this was going to be the bearish side of the market, then we can look at this as, we can look at this as wave one here and two here. And then wave three normally comes in around the bottom, but then you gravitate over to the closest largest number. So one, two, three in here, and then four, and then five in here. If this was going to come down, it would look something like this. So basically this is group two here. So 65, 72, and 80 here. And we've spiked down here before, so it would be much the same. This would also be one, two, three, four, five coming into here, and then wave four, so a new low below the level, and then it would build up at that point, and then we'd bring this down over to this level here to do that. In the meantime, yes, we can count five waves, one, two, three, four, five up here. It's just that this wasn't a nice, if this was a nice five wave structure, then I would have a little bit more confidence in calling this wave one up here, you know, and, and bringing this across over to here for this. But at the same time, we can prepare for it. All we need to do is go along above here. And in the meantime, we're just going to leave the stops out of the way. And if we need to bring it down here, then we'll bring it down there and get a better price. It's as simple as that. So something to do, nothing to do, all of that sort of stuff. So um, that's where that is. And we know wave force, you know, they're complicated. Um, you know, they're not like blokes that are quite just quite simple. You just sort of tell them how good they are and beat them and you're on your way, you know. Um, so uh that's where that is you know 
Okay, so that's the DAX, and uh, yep, yeah, and then we'll come over to the FTSE. So yesterday we also sort of talked about this here being a more complex correction, and I really don't like the fact that this wave two is so big and ugly. It just doesn't make any sort of sense, but I know that this will be dragged up with the rest of the markets when they move up. So um, we were looking, we talked yesterday about having a move up here and then a move down. So that's still on the cards. The only thing that's changed now is that we can go long above that top. <clears throat> now I could put, I could put this over here because it's got sort of a nice one, two, three, four, five in here and have that done and dusted there. That's fine. And we could call this way one over here and coming back for wave two in here and so on and then moving up. So I don't know, we'll see, because if the DAX is gonna pull down, then this is gonna pull down and we'll need to bring this back over to this point. It doesn't matter, all we need to know is to go long above that top. It's as simple as that. Not the best looking five waves up here, but I can I can see how we could squish it in. Um, so that'd be the one, two, three, four and five at this point, but and maybe even to here. No, I can't do that one. Yeah, it's a little bit, doesn't count that well, to be honest, but it doesn't really matter. The, this market hasn't counted very well uh, either, either way, you know, and we know that from, if we go to the daily chart, to my flimsy bullish count is this here. So the flimsy bullish count is that we're looking at this here as an A, B, C, D and E here, and then up for one and back for two, up for one and back for two, up for one and back for two. Now, I don't know if that's going to play out here. I think it will based on the uh, the S&P and so on. But uh, yeah, not quite sure about that. All we need to do is just buy new highs at this point. It's pretty simple. And we come over to the Aussie market. I won't go into the banks and all the rest of it, but uh, the, the, we did that the other day and uh, they should be moving up higher. Now here, We've been looking at this here. I can look at this as one or four over here in this case, but um, we've had this correctional pattern here. We can have it as four as two, one or, and here, and then one and two. And then I can drag this up. I could go one and two and one and two here, but I think it's better all as, as one and two here for the time being, at least anyway. The important thing here now is that this, this uh, the takeaway here is that this move here is is corrective because it's taken out this top here but it hasn't taken that out top here and it will take that top out all i don't know is if that are we going to get a five wave structure down here like the rest of the other markets we're talking about and then up at that point and if that's the case then i need to put wave b over over here for this so it could get a bit more complicated here i just not quite sure uh, we don't really, we've got uh, lots of positions in here. I'm just going to leave the stop still out of the way uh, here because I know the market's going up. I just, and I don't want to get flicked out of it. You know, it's, just, it's that simple. If you don't have any positions in here, then you can just go along above the top here. And our target to the upside is the 8,000 here. So, um, you know, you may not have gotten into all of these positions here either, but, you know, some folk, you just, you know, long as you've got a position or two in here, it doesn't really matter if, you, you know, if this is your market, of course. Um, so that's kind of where we are really at this point. Not the best five waves up here. We could view it as wave one like the other markets, but I'm not going to get too excited about it because it's not really there. I could squash it in. Um, but what I can tell you is that this particular pattern here <clears throat> is bullish corrective. And even though we may end up coming down here, we'll still end up going back up the top here because this now is a corrective pattern. Okay, so that confirms that we'll be going higher. It's just uh, in the short term, uh, do we do a little dog leg uh, in all of this or not? You know, that's simple. Alrighty, I'm going to leave it all at that. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.